Okay, this is going to be the last and final part of video card cooking, or baking, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Okay, the first time didn't work. As you've seen, it actually made it worse. So I put it upside down and did it again. Those two capacitors are now puffed up. So is this one. These two and this one fell off. And so did the video power plug for the fan. It fell out too. So anyway, I put the capacitors back on. Um, the puffed up ones should still work because they're not hot anymore. So um, as far as I can tell, they should work. If not, I will switch them out and try it again. Okay, so first I'm just going to power up the card like I did the other time. Just to make sure it's not going to uh, short out my board or whatever. Okay, so we'll just power it up on the floor. Okay, nothing's... nothing's blown up. Okay, so we put it in the system. I said this is my last try and then it's going back on the wall where it came from. Okay, video is in. There's a little heat sink on there just so the core doesn't get psychotically hot. Oh, I gotta switch monitors. <clears throat> Oh, hit the old switch box. Okay. Back over here. And give it some power. And it's about the same as it did the second time. So, final verdict. That myth that putting video cards in the oven seems to be pretty busted because it actually made it worse. Um, I did see one video on YouTube. A uh, guy says he managed to fix his, but I mean, the fucking it's I don't know. It's pretty iffy. The first time I put mine in, it wasn't hot enough. Second time I put it in, I saw smoke coming off the card when I took it out. And of course, as I showed you, it was worse than when I started. So I tried it for a second time, 200 degrees, and like I said, stuff started falling off. Uh, that capacitor fell off, so did the two on the bottom. You can see the two middle ones there are puffed up. These two right here, they now have a bubble to them. And so does this one over here. So yeah, I would definitely not recommend doing that if you just want to do it. But um, I guess if you have a dead card, it's worth a shot because uh, it does change stuff within the card. Um, it may fix a solder point for you or something. But uh, yeah, be forewarned, shit might start falling off. Um, also, the beeper is gone. It fell off and melted to the tray. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd try that so you guys know that it doesn't work, basically. I mean, there may be a couple people that have had luck with this, but I think on the whole, it's not a good idea. Any longer, and those capacitors may have exploded. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely not recommend doing that to, uh, to any video cards. Like I said, if you have a dead one like this 6800 that I had, um, you can try it, because obviously it's, if it makes it worse, it's not really going to matter. So, there you go. just thought I'd do that to uh, show you guys what happens when you put your video cards in the oven, because I wanted to try it for myself. So, there you go. It doesn't work all the time anyway. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed.